We don't have a physical pie. We've got then something it's not better. The most delicious. A great segment. It's time for title pie. Thank you so much, Potential. Kevin Wild. Could've Before we been. reveal been. my title pie, I want a level set. I crunched the Vegas odds, okay. and I'm going to show you what Vegas's title pie would look right. like. So here are the teams in the playoffs that Vegas have as less than a 1% chance to win. So they, they're not going to be on title pie. Now show us Vegas's title pie to give you an idea of how overwhelming they think this postseason is. Mm. They've got Boston with a 42.5% implied chance of winning it. Denver with a 25.5% chance, and the rest of the league entirely 32% chopped up. Now, if you add all those numbers up, you're going to realize their numbers add up to well more than 100. What that's the? Well, yeah, that's yeah. why betting futures is not the best idea, folks. If you like a team to win the title, <laughs> bet on them in each series and just roll it over, roll it over. Don't bet futures, but that's what Vegas has, I didn't okay? Know that. Yeah, that's what they're, they're, they're sucker losing this, guys. Money. Exactly right. All right, now time <laughs> for title pot. Zero percenters, these guys. Listen, I feel badly putting the Cavs and the Magic uh, on the zero percenter line. Really? Yeah, because I think that particularly the Magic have had a really admirable season. And they are a, a sons of guns to play because of what they do defensively. Right. But they can't win the championship. No. And the Heat they wouldn't are. be zero percenters, but... With Jimmy Butler, they, their season could be over tonight, and if not, it's going to be over in short order because yep. Jimmy's going to miss round one. So all those guys are zero percenters. Now to the one percenters. Bruce, beloved Clippers. I mean, Kawhi again, really? Mm. And get ready, America. It's your favorite, you know, 8 to 14 days a year playoff harden. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Another one percenter. Listen. I'll be in the garden for at least a game. I'll be in Philly for at least a game. Wow. I'm excited for this series, and I'm excited for them. I'm excited to see if Jalen Brunson does get in club superstar here in a few weeks. But they can't win four rounds. They can, no. You know what I mean? They can win one round. They can win two rounds. Maybe I'd give them a better than 1% chance to win three rounds. They're not winning four rounds. They're at 1%. Hmm. 2%. If I can't interest you in playoff wow. Harden, can I interest you in playoff Gobert? It's the, I mean, it tastes the same, just looks a little different. Also, I don't know if Carl Anthony Towns coming back was actually good for them. And that's not an indictment on Carl. It was just, you hate trying to work someone in right near the end a of the star. regular season, a star in in particular. See New Orleans dealing with that. Now they have a 2% chance because Ant-Man could be his coming out party. I'm not yep. uh, dismissing it. All right, 3%. Big series for Bradley Beal. He, he finished the regular season strong. He find, he was healthy. He finally showed the idea of what, why they mortgaged what they had left. We know what we're going to get from Kevin Durant. The problem is for Phoenix to win the championship, they not only have to win four rounds, they have to win all four rounds in six games or less because you don't want to see game seven, Devin Booker. Uh -oh. I don't want to Nobody wants to see it. <laughs> That's going to be a crazy. Next, oh, Milwaukee, 4%. There is a path here, and the path is very, very simple. Dame and Chris Middleton cook in round one, and Giannis comes back for round two healthy. Oof. That is the path, and that Giannis, tough path. Health, it, it, well, that's why it's only 4%, but it, it's not an insane no, path. path. It's not an impossible path. Mm -hmm. There is a path. Similarly, 6% for Philadelphia. How healthy is Embiid? What are they going to look like against mm -hmm. that Knicks defense? What is Maxi going to look like with probably, not probably, definitely the most pressure that's ever been on him yep. in his postseason career? And so I do believe that one of these two teams, 4%, 6%, Milwaukee or Philly, is going to end up in the conference finals. When they do, how healthy will their best player be? That to me is the question. 8% OKC. So round one, they basically earned the buy. Like, congrats to you guys. You guys get to move on because <laughs> New Orleans is going to be without Zion if they get there. Sacramento, I'm not trying to disrespect the beam, but no Malik Monk, no Kevin Herter. Aside from that Warriors game, you haven't been good. And then you, they are hoping that Dallas and the Clippers go seven games yep. and is an absolute war. Yeah. And then Denver's got, in be. my opinion, the far tougher side of the bracket. And so you can see how they can do it. And if Shea can really take that next, next level, which is do it in the postseason. 10%. Los Angeles Lakers. So here's the thing. Brew, I think, gives them about a 20% chance to win the series. Yes. Okay. And if they win the series, 
Bruce says they're winning the title. If they win the series, I think they're the favorites. Right. So, right. so, so that's how I came with 10%. Was again, and even if it's just 20% to win the series and then cut it down a bit round by round after that. And I, listen, they need what I was talking about with OKC. They need Phoenix, Minnesota, which could be the best series around one, to be a seven-game war. Because I, and for those guys to really empty the clip against each other. Denver at 15%. The, here's why. <laughs> because of what Victor Wimbanyama did in game 81, they have the toughest possible path they could have had, and they are staring at not having home court advantage in either of the final two rounds were they to get there. That's true. First, you've got to deal with the Lakers, who are there. Even if you think the, the Lakers got no chance of winning, not who they wanted to play in round one. Sure. Then in round two, you deal with two teams that believe they can beat you. Right. That beat you for one or two games in the playoffs last year. They have a winning record against you this year, or at least played well against you, I should say, this year. So they're at 15%. So I put Dallas at 20%. No noise. Kyrie and Luka, as happy as can be. The defense has been better. I think Jason Kidd's only improved as a coach over the years. And playoff Luka Doncic, the last time we saw him, was lighting the entire Western Conference on fire with Jalen Brunson and nobody else alongside him. And so I put them at 20%, which puts Boston as the remaining third of the pie wow. at 30%. They have the clearest path to the finals of any team I can remember. They had had one of the best regular seasons in NBA history by any metric, and they're already in the conference finals right. in my eyes. So they're 30%. Brew, that is title pop. It's a good job. It's a good job. And I get why you pick Boston, you know, overwhelming or yeah. as the favorite because of the easier path. But I am going to take Boston down a couple really? of Really? Just because, look. They feasted on a much weaker – playing the Eastern Conference schedule is much weaker than what all of the Western Conference behemoths had to go. They feasted on everybody, though. They were 8-6, eight 8-6 and six, eight and six against the top seven teams in the West. Okay. Good we don't even good know the eight seed yet. So, 8-6 yeah. and six against the top seven teams. And here's – look, I think Denver – right now, I feel like Denver, the Lakers, and maybe Dallas would beat them in the finals. So that's why I'm, I'm going to mess with Boston a little bit. Look, we know what their issue is, or one of them, the main one, clutch. All right? In the regular – overall, like not clutch. Overall, they have the best offensive rating in the league, second best defensive rating. In the clutch, this isn't horrible, but they dropped to sixth in both. Shows you that they're not nearly as good in the clutch situations as, as they are during the regular game. And Jason Tatum – it's improved the tad, but 36% field goals in the clutch. You look at Steph, you look at LeBron, you look at Jokic, you look at SGA. Though they have sky-high shooting percentages in the clutch. He's 33% from three. And Jalen Brown is 20% from three in clutch. So my two best players who we know they're going to go to struggle in the clutch. And what, to win the championship – it's not going to be a bunch of blowouts. Mm -hmm. The games are going to be tough. So that's why I'm taking Boston down a little bit. If only the town had more basketball scenes in it, maybe that part that you'd be taken care of. I don't know. He's <laughs> studying it a lot. I don't know. Maybe it'd help him out. Brew, I think oh, you make oh, a good game. Because Missoula wants to Missoula, town. Yeah, because Missoula is obsessed with it. Uh, the what's their clutch situation like, in bank what? robberies? It's sky high. It just doesn't come up in the NBA playoffs a lot. Uh, all right. Phoenix, Minnesota, oh. first round. The other, earlier this week, I talked about why Minnesota could uh, win this series. And now I'm going to do the opposite. This I don't guy. know. Why? I'm, the mayor, I'm just presenting data. He's just Mr. Inconsistent. I'm not, I don't know how this series is going to go, so I'm just it's showing gonna be both, a both great sides. Series. Phoenix, uh, in March, or whenever we looked at their gauntlet post-All-Star yeah, game, games we did several segments that are like, you know what? Phoenix is cooked. They've got the toughest schedule. Well, it turns yeah, out. Yeah. March, they were okay. In April, they were great. And their defense, all of a sudden, was the fourth best in the NBA. In that stretch, when they went 10-4, and four, they beat Denver, they beat the Cavs, they beat the Clippers, they beat the Pelicans, they beat the Wolves, they beat Sacramento. So they're pretty good. Look, they, they beat the Wolves three times, all pretty convincingly to the point that Anthony Edwards was blaming the referees. So I do buy a little bit of maybe the team that we saw for the first, I don't know, 80% of the year has finally decided to gel 
Now that Bradley Beal's like, oh, guess what? We did have enough time. Unlike the Nets, who never had enough time so, to really gel. So I listen. I think that is, those are all legitimate points, uh, and I think good points. I am curious to see how anyone, whether it's the Timberwolves or if the Suns win the, the, the next round, whether it's against Denver Lakers, how they guard Kevin Durant. Yeah. Because as Durant is, by any metric, in my opinion, one of the 20 greatest players ever. Uh, I think he is one of the three or four greatest scorers ever. But as he gets older, he seems to be more and more annoyed almost by just physicality. No, th and that's th how you guard him. Right. And so that he, it, and it's almost I, what I'm going to say here sounds dumb. It's not that he finds it disrespectful, but like that's almost he just seems annoyed by it. Like that. It's just like because he you wants doing? it to be about it, skill. Right. I really it does. <laughs> Let me feel, just showcase it, my skill. It skills. does feel like that. Like you I'm guys serious. are mucking it up. Yay. And so I, the, I'm trying to give a compliment while also you know, yeah. the being honest about what I see. Well, that's and how they so, go guarding. Correct. And I that. think Minnesota is equipped to do that to a degree. Mm -hmm. And how much, how much will that bother him? And you know that the, if they get Denver in round two, which I know is what you think, mm -hmm. Aaron Gordon is just gonna be putting a body on him and being a yeah, pain in the ass. And yep. so I'm very, mm -hmm. I hope the Sun, no disrespect to Minnesota, I hope the Suns win. Because I want to see a, how he handles it. And I just want to see Durant deep in year. the playoffs. We haven't seen him in a long time. Durant, since leaving uh, Golden State, 13 and 14 in the playoffs. Yeah, he has Blown played 11 minutes post round. round two right. since his championship in 2018. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.